Good day grade 12s. In this lesson we're going to be looking again at trigonometry and all that we're going to be doing is practicing the stuff that we learned in our last lesson. So we're going to be applying a double angle formula to some examples. So the first example says prove that cos squared alpha times a 1 minus tan squared alpha equals cos to alpha. Now remember with proof that you cannot assume that they're equal and then work onwards. We have to either work with the left hand side or the right hand side. But let's just look at this right hand side. It says a cos to alpha, but we know that cos to alpha, it's on our formula sheets, is equal to either cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha, or it's equal to 2 cos squared alpha minus 1, or it's equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha. Okay, so those are our options. Now let's see if we can get this left hand side to equal one of those three. So let's play with the left hand side. We've got left hand side. So this becomes cos, well it is, cos squared alpha, 1 minus tan squared alpha. Now if we look over here we see none of these have got tan, so what we need to do is convert this tan. But we know that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Therefore we can rearrange this and it becomes cos squared alpha times by 1 minus sine squared alpha over cos squared alpha. So now let's multiply this out. So cos squared alpha times by 1 is cos squared alpha minus, if we multiply this out, becomes cos squared alpha times by sine squared alpha all over cos squared alpha. And oh look we can cancel. So that becomes cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. <gasps> but cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha is cos 2 alpha. So that becomes equals cos 2 alpha which equals the right hand side. And ta-da! We have just proven that this thing on the left hand side equals cos 2 alpha. Let's do another example. It says prove that 1 plus sine 2x over cos 2x is equal to cos x plus sine x over cos x minus sine x. So again let's just think about what these can become. Sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x, okay, whereas cos 2x is equal to either cos squared x minus sine squared x. And then it can become 2 cos squared x minus 1 or becomes 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And then there's something like this. Kids often ask me, or my students often ask me, which one do we choose? And I will tell you always, 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 always change your sine to x first see what you can get with it and then we can decide what we're going to change our cos 2x with. So obviously with this it's kind of like we can't do anything whereas this has got sine 2x and cos 2x so we're going to start with the left hand side. Left hand side which is 1 plus sine 2x over cos 2x. I'm immediately going to replace this for the sine 2x. It becomes 1 plus 2 sine x cos x all over cos 2x. Hmm. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. But you kind of know the trick already. You just might not realize where to put it in. We know that sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. So I can replace this 1 with sine squared x plus cos squared x. So that becomes sine squared x plus cos squared x plus 2 sine x cos x all over cos 2x. Now do you see that this term here has got a sine x and a cos x on either side? So I'm going to rearrange it to become sine squared x plus 2 sine x cos x plus cos squared x all over cos 2x. Now I don't know if you can see but this here is a trinomial of the form x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. 
that's the form okay just because it's got a sign next there don't panic about it it's still a trinomial and what does this become this becomes x plus y or squared so therefore this is going to become sine x plus cos x all squared now let's look at our cos 2x so obviously our answer wants a cos x and a sine x in it so I'm going to use this one here I'm going to choose the top one so I'm going to change that to cos squared x minus sine squared x and now I need to write here so to make sure that you don't misunderstand what I'm doing I'm just going to change color just slightly so you can see that this is new writing it doesn't belong to the left hand side so do you agree this here is a perfect square and this is a perfect square and they're separated by a minus so what is that that's actually the difference of two squares so therefore I can say okay that is sine x plus cos x all squared and this becomes cos x plus sin x times by cos x minus sin x. And what happens? Do you see that this bracket, sin x plus cos x, and this bracket, cos x plus sin x, are actually the same thing? So I can cancel this with one of them. So that goes that. And that becomes cos x plus sin x, I'm just rewriting it so that it matches the top but you don't have to, all over cos x minus sin x and ta-da, it equals the right hand side. Awesome. Now grade 12s, I unfortunately have a screen, I can't turn over my page, so I need to go onto the right hand side. Please, please, please make it easy for your examiners and make it easy for your teachers. Don't do this. Even if you do a line down the middle, don't do it. Okay, at the end of the year especially, they give you lots of books to write in paper and lots of paper to write with. So please don't do this. It makes it hard for your teachers to mark. And if they can't see what you're doing, they obviously can't give you marks. So I hope you now understand how to use the double angles in questions. I want you to go practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.